Welcome to this mathematics class. Uh, like we promised in the last video, we are going to look at um, a Form 3 topic, matrices. And we already started this topic and we had discussed uh, addition of matrices. We remember that for us to add matrices, they must be of the same order. In our lesson today, we want to see how you can multiply a matrix by a scalar. A scalar is um, a constant. And so we have uh, our first example. We are going to look at the general way of doing it. Uh, when you are given a given matrix, how do you multiply that matrix by a scalar. So we have this matrix here, um, M, this matrix M equal to A, B, C, D. Take the elements to be A, B, A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. And then we want to show what we get when we multiply this matrix by a scalar. So, <clears throat> what will be Km? Find a constant K multiplied by the matrix. So, the idea is very simple. You just make sure that every element in this matrix is multiplied by k. So we say uh, k m will now be equal to k multiplied by a, b, c, and d. And like I've just said, we just make sure that every element in this matrix is multiplied by the scalar. So what we get? So it is as simple as that. We have been given the matrix M, which we are given as A, B, C, D. And we have been asked to multiply that matrix by a scalar k okay? and like we have explained it is going to be k times that matrix and then you simply multiply every element by k let's look at um, an example which is going to incorporate what we did in the last video we did addition and we even promised that in, in this video we are going to see how we also subtract. Even for subtraction, the two or three matrices that are being subtracted must be of the same order. That means they must have the same number of rows and columns. If one matrix has two rows and three columns, then the other matrix must also have two rows and three columns for addition and subtraction to be possible. So we have an example. Here it is. Given that given that um, the matrix M equals just take a simple matrix. We take 2, 4, 6, and 3. That's matrix M. And we are also given matrix N. Matrix N equal to negative 2, 3, 5, 4. That is matrix N. And Matrix P equal to 
We have been given uh, matrix M equal to 2, 4, 6, 3. Matrix N equal to minus 2, 3, 5, 4. And matrix P equal to 1, 2, 0, 1. We are asked to find 2M plus 3N minus find 2m plus 3n minus p. So all you're going to do is write the matrix m here, where we have m here, n and then p. And then we do the addition. You can see there is addition here and there is also subtraction. So our solution, we have 2 into m, we have it there, 2, 4, 6, 3, plus 3 into minus 2, 3, 5, 4, and then subtract P, which we have here as 1, 2, 0, 1. And let's see what we get now. Looking carefully, you can see that this matrix is of order 2. It's a 2 by 2 matrix. That is, we have 2 rows and 2 columns. 2 rows and 2 columns. 2 rows and 2 columns. Which means now we can comfortably perform addition and subtraction. But before that, we need to multiply by the scalar here. So when we multiply this by 2, you're going to get uh, 4, 8, 12, and 6. 4, 8, 12, and 6. And here we have minus 6, 9, uh, 15, and 12. And here, just multiplying by 1, so it's going to remain 1, 2, 0, 1. Now like we said in the last uh, lesson, when we are adding, we add corresponding elements. The same with when we are subtracting. And that's why we emphasized that the matrices have to be of the same order. <clears throat> so the remaining thing now is to add corresponding elements and also subtract. So uh, we, 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 we move from here. This is 4. Subtract 6. That gives us minus 2 and then minus 1. And therefore, our first element here is going to be minus 3. Once more, 4. Subtract 6, that's negative 2. Subtract 1, that gives us negative 3. All right, now we go to this one. 8 plus 9, that's 17. Minus 2, that gives us 15. And then we come down here. 12 plus 15, that's 27. Minus 0 remains 27. And then we have uh, 6 plus 12, that's 18. Minus 1, that gives us 17. And therefore, we have been able to, 1, multiply a matrix by a scalar. We've already identified, uh, noted that every element in the matrix must be multiplied by that scalar. And that's how we got that. Uh, we have an example which incorporates multiplication by a scalar, addition, and then subtraction. And we got M equals 2, 4, 6, 3. N equals that. And P equals what we have here. And we are required to simplify this. And we have multiplied by the scalar out here. We wanted to see what we are going to get there. 
Um, we have gone down here, multiplied by the scalar throughout here, and then we have these matrices that way. And finally, we have been able to add and subtract. We are going to stop here for now. Remember what we've always said, that mathematics is about practice. The more practice we do, the better we become. Um, remember to subscribe and also make comments that can help in improving uh, the delivery of this content. You are also free to suggest other topics that we can uh, look at. And so until next time, from me, it's goodbye.